Good morning, ladies and good morning, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Fuck, man. All right, this is bullshit. I need my camera guy back. guys the ritual is coming along nicely just need some sacrificial items all right guys some grains of rice here sprinkle that on chalula sauce little chapa. everything is prepared now to do the incantations It's been a week. We are here though, episode seven. Let's get this bread leg day montage rolling. Grind, don't stop, ladies and gentlemen. We are out, busted out a little bit of a sweat, but you know what they say, if she ain't dripping, I ain't drowning. Let's go get ready for our day. <sighs> Alrighty guys, there's the fit for the day. We are ready to get our day rolling. Let's do our morning ritual, because if you know as well as I know, if you want a successful day, you gotta prepare yourself and set yourself up for success. But first, let's wake up Jose, because it's funny. Get up, Wayne. <laughs> All right, guys, since last time we've started a little scoreboard. Days without an incident. I'm on day 10. Javi's on day 9. Uh, Chris is at a fat zero. And Jose is at 14. Big mobbing. And if you know, then you know. But I'm not going to get into the details of what that means. So. All right, guys, so it turns out I was out of basically every ingredient. So I got to go shopping. And that's because I was in Kansas for the weekend. <clears throat> I just got back, so we're gonna have to get some groceries later. Um, but Javi's doing a 72 hour fast. What do you guys think? Do you think he can make it through it? I guess we'll find out on Saturday if he made it through it. But I think to match his 72 hour fast, I'm going to uninstall every single social media app for 72 hours. And literally, I'm just gonna have messages on my phone. And that's the only way that you can communicate with me. So Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, all gone for 72 hours. I'll do my own like 72 hour dopamine fast. Obviously I gotta be eating all the time. So we're gonna go get some pigs in a blanket. <clears throat> I'm gonna down this Nutella sandwich. I got like some granola bars and snacks in the back too. 
Um, so that's gonna get us to around 800 calories for the day. And um... all right, guys, we have pulled into the office. Got Golden Boy. <laughs> yup. Hey, still haven't uploaded the video, but it's coming soon. I'm Don't really worry. Crazy busy with work, so yeah. Don't how we all, <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> we are going to have a little team meeting. Get some stuff done and uh i don't know try to find something entertaining to film so let's get it done Has stuff on it. Print works. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's check out the packets. We got a little bit of product in there. The duration, the duration designer. We actually offer this for free, uh, which is a cool thing about us. And then duration flex, which is just a more permanent solution. Here's my little intro letter that basically says, hey, thanks for reading this. I'm gonna buy you a cup of coffee for reading this. Um, and then all of this stuff, this basically says, in addition to this, I'm giving your clients free platinum warranty. This is my little introduction letter with a QR code that you can scan that takes you to all my socials. Here's a testimonial letter from one of the insurance agents that we already work with and he had a lot of nice things to say about us so I wanted to uh, convey that to other insurance agents. A little bit of our process and the inspection, the drone reports, um, the roof tune-ups and certifications, um, photo reports that come fully equipped with the after and the before, um, the during process, all that so people can really see their timeline progress. This is how we build a roof, basically just goes over it. we are doing it quality. A storm report basically shows the storm that has happened in the area on a process list so you can know what to expect from start to finish. Terms, just in case you get confused along the way, and our certificate of insurance, which is good to up to $2 million. So people know that we are fully licensed and insured. So, so I have made packets for half the insurance agents in town, which was the goal for the week. I'm going to stop by and present this to them, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm also going to Photoshop um, both our logos in one uh, header documentation, just so it looks a little more personal and unique. Javi, what'd you get done today? I am planning our weekly event. I don't know if it's gonna be season wine tasting or what, but. Stay tuned for that. As well as he put together a 100K estimate, which is nice and juicy. So let's see if we can get that uh, done. <sighs> Been a productive morning. So I kind of want to go over what we planned this morning, just in case we fail. Uh, we know who to hold accountable and responsible. It's me, because we didn't execute. Hi, Jared. Okay. So number one goal here is to land a $1 million job. Through all our efforts, uh, this is a two month plan here. Um, we want to network with every multifamily insurance agent and realtor in town and Lee Summit. We want two deals a week residential side and we want to build an impactful presence in the area. 
So we have a lot uh, to do, and obviously we have broken this down a lot more detailed on a month to month, week to week, day to day basis, but that's in my notebook and I won't bore you guys with the details. But on the to-do list, we have a commercial packet, a maintenance program, the HOA commercial, hire a couple crews, weekly event, uh, make insurance agent folders, which is what I've been working on now, uh, make a list of realtors, insurance, and multifamily, and I've already crossed out the insurance because I am on the ball, um, and then a video for HOA insurance and realtors, all marketing stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what the update is this morning as far as work goes, so... All right, guys, we are done. We got one of these custom made for every single insurance agent. We are going to catch some lunch now um, and probably just get some meal prep and tan. So let's cut. All right, so you guys might be wondering, my vlog's called Road to Millionaire. How am I going to become a millionaire? Basically, it's a three-year plan to hit seven figures by the time I'm 25. First off, I stopped trading my time for money. Started trading results for money by finding a commission-based job. Then I allocate about 10 grand. From there, I can invest that into the stock market and my daily goal is to make about 100 to $200 a day. On huge days where I make over $1,000, I will reinvest half and split the other half into an emergency fund. Once I've built up enough capital, I'd like to start buying and reselling exotic cars, but this is after I bought my first home. In order to buy my first house, I need to figure out where I wanna live. I'm thinking Tampa, Miami area, and the deal has to make enough sense to where I can house hack it. Once I've built up enough equity in the home, I can refinance and start buying cash flowing investment properties. From the money I make from commissions and stocks, I can then buy a car that's going to retain value to further flip in the future. That's also fun to drive for me. After I have my portfolio of investments built up, hopefully then I would have put enough thought into what I'm actually passionate about and inevitably start my own business. All of this, of course, is much easier said than done. I've mapped out where I need to be month, weekly, bi-weekly, daily, quarterly, and yearly, of course. All the way up until I'm 25. And I want to document it all. Plus, the camera really helps me be accountable. And I just genuinely really like making these like vlogs. It's really entertaining. I think it'll be really cool to look back on these vlogs and just see where I started and how I'm just literally a normal guy that put his mind to set out for everything I wanted to be and achieve it. And I hope it can act as an inspiration to you to follow your dreams and never make an excuse. All right guys, so the cool thing about a commission-based job is that you can literally just like work whenever you feel like it. Um, now, of course, this comes with a little bit of responsibility, but we're gonna ask off for work and see what the hell the girls react on Kaylin and Cassandra Cam. So I have an inquiry. We both. They both just came in there like hot and hot ready. Go for it, go off. Um, I was wondering if we could possibly get off like an hour early on Friday. <laughs> like, we we want to go to the movies, so we need like an hour off. Yeah, like barely just. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to leave an hour early? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Is that okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys so the grunt work has mostly been finished um for the rest of the day we are going to just do a little bit of networking and I gotta change my oil yeah. all right guys it's time to change our oil so we are going to do a little installment of leo's mechanics all righty guys the bag is secure got our filter some sea foam and the oil all right guys we are here we are ready to get this oil change rolling got the gear got mr joe davis chilling back here what, what we got to say okay. i got a lot to say it's going to take him approximately about 30 minutes mm. to change his oil mm. and that's along with filter do you have a filter yeah all right just cut that yeah no. <laughs> anything better no. anything good no we're gonna go run yeah it's gonna suck I'm kind of jealous, but it is what it is. You know, I can't drive to single mom's houses without uh, fresh oil, so I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, he's taking his oil. He's gonna get to cock blocking and loading that shit. <laughs> cock blocking and loading. For the single moms, cut to the montage. Hot. Fuck. 
Moves. You get the angles. It's not one smooth cinematic sequence. It's mm -hmm. always like, you know, I just cut it with the beat. All right, guys. So me and Jose have been working here. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Me and Jose have been working since about like four. We literally just been out on the field trying to get a bite, trying to get a little little some something. something. What are, what's your comments on today, Jose? Not the best. Yeah, I know. The best could have been way, way better. For we, sure. we basically got diarrhea on, but it's okay because we see the sun going down and we're still out working. So that's, I mean, I mean that is what it is. I mean, <laughs> it's a good feeling, but still, it would have been a better feeling to land a deal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. Uh, it's going to be one of a shorter one, but whatever. Um, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends check me out um turn on post notifications all that good stuff and as always it's been real it's been fun but it hasn't been real fun bye